Welcome to another video. Today I want to talk about the best graphical settings in Final Fantasy XIV for a good performance to quality ratio. And this time a couple of things have changed and of course we have access to new hardware. And to save you quite some bucks, I highly recommend to go into the settings and change certain things if you just don't want to spend the whole money on the RTX 4090. Or yeah, you can just play with your laptop for example, because laptops, even if you get the most expensive laptop out there, you won't scratch the surface of the desktop performance because yeah, a 4090 in a laptop is nowhere close to a 4090 in the desktop version. And I can tell you the card itself is literally as big as a laptop. But yeah, that means you can also play Final Fantasy XIV wonderfully with old graphics cards, like even an, a GTX 1050 Ti or anything like that. I've tested that on a GTX 1050 Ti. I actually started playing this on my old PC with an RX 460 from, from AMD, which still worked for this game. I played on 60 FPS, uh, decent settings on full HD. Everything went smoothly. So it really depends on the screen that you're having and of course that demand of quality and performance that you want. Check out the video in the description if you want to know more about these values and how they interact with each other. But this time here, I want to go through the graphical settings again and I think I found the perfect spot to test them and show you what actually changes and what every setting means. So let's start with the normal value that you set everything on maximum. That's why I always start because then you can always go down. The first thing you want to tackle and that's why this scene is so important is this setting. You could just scroll down here. Um, of course, system configuration first, open up the big menu, then go to system configuration and then to graphics settings. That's where all this can be found. Then you scroll down and go to screen space ambient occlusion. That's the most important setting and that has the biggest impact on performance. But you can see the difference. Let me just check this construction. This is very detailed and the shadows are actually very powerful here. And if I just put this to off, you can see the difference. But on the other hand, you can also see the difference on performance. We're at least getting 25% to 30% more FPS. That actually makes a lot of sense if you're struggling to reach certain FPS values. If that is something you're concerned about and you can say like, hey, okay, the shadows in the background, it's not that big of a deal to me. I can live without them. This is the way to go. There's also a compromise setting, which is the HBO plus standard. As you can see, you still get the whole 3D texture and the whole effect of it, but performance is still nice, 10% to, compared to the offsetting. The quality of the visual difference is not too much. Of course, you can notice the difference more, but I think the standard still is a very good compromise. You still have 3D texture. It gives you the impression of a 3D texture compared to the offsetting. Offsetting is basically just, oh, that's... 2D rock that they want to animate here. And this is kind of giving you a 3D texture. But if you're facing a boss or anything like that, if you're just raiding the whole day, you don't need that setting. It's basically just very small details that are kind of more the environment textures and any, anything that, like that. There are a lot of these, as you can see, even here in the background, this wooden texture is also getting sh better shades and a 3D textured element here, this frame, it's a difference nonetheless, but I would definitely turn it off if you're losing or if you want to save performance, if you're just not exploring the world, if you're not a sightseeing gamer, if you just want to play the game, actually play the game in raids or anything like that. So that's my recommendation here. The next one are the real-time reflections, but for now, I think you should keep them on maximum or high, because if you turn them off, you're not really gaining so much performance, maybe 5% or anything like that. That's definitely not too much. As you can see, that's around 5 to 7%. But the difference here, especially in this scene, you can check the ground. Check this figure, for example. These have kind of a glossy surface and they, uh, the graphical designer want to reflect this element that this glossy, of course, produces reflections. And if you turn this off, you won't notice them anymore. They're gone. They're completely gone. You don't have any reflection. Of course, this is definitely something you won't recognize when playing the game, when doing raids that much, but it's definitely something you will recognize when there's rain. If you have rainy weather or anything like that, you will definitely notice these elements. And I would definitely keep them on maximum because you're not 
gaining too much performance. Last time I have definitely recommended to set them off because more you're not recognizing them too much. But I guess they have worked a lot of these reflections into the game in Endwalker. So it's definitely something worth doing. And the next one, that is a big, big change and kind of only affects water. And there are a couple of other things in the game that might be affecting. But as far as I have read the forums and read it, people were kind of <laughs> summarizing that it's it's just water. That's just changing water. And now, as you can see, here in this scene, we don't see water, but there is water. Some of you know this because they know the, the place that we are in. But here is water in this scene. If I just disable that, right now we don't see a difference. So transparent lighting quality, that's what I'm talking about. If I put this to normal, we're gaining quite a lot of performance, even though we're not seeing anything in this scene. But of course, there is water. That's here. The difference is not night and day. You really have to spot the difference somewhere. Um, as I've read on Reddit, somebody explained that there's basically just another layer of these movement fluid animations being put on top of the normal layer. If you put this to normal, you have this normal layer. If you put this to high, there is kind of a second layer. Maybe you can see it right here. There should be a second layer somewhere. Yeah, it feels like the waist. Do you see that? The waist are less now. And here we have a bit more waist or a bit more realistic and active ways because they added a second layer on top. But the real-time reflections definitely keep them up if you're looking for these, if you want to have a more realistic look. There's quite some some nice details with that. It's everything that's having a coaty surface or a anything that has a glossy surface and offers reflections like these stones here, that's definitely where you can feel the game a bit more immersive, in my opinion. Okay, another thing that you can definitely check to increase the performance are these two values here, but it's kind of designed to having this unchecked to increase the visual fidelity and checking that if you want to increase your performance. Uh, that means checking the box here will increase your performance on certain GPUs. As you can see on my GPU, it kind of handles it without doing something. So I can definitely just keep it at the best quality and fidelity because at it doesn't make a difference for my GPU, but I have seen that on a laptop. I've played the game on a laptop just recently and checking these boxes makes a very, very heavy difference, especially if your GPU has VRAM uh, that is not too high or your CPU is, is not as powerful. So if you are struggling with performance and you want to get the last quench out of it, definitely check these boxes too. And as you can see, there is quite a difference. It's not the occlusion calling. Occlusion calling is basically just the background aliasing a bit. That means if you check the low detail model, you can see they remove certain details here. The grass is just, all of them will disappear. You can still see the trees. You still have the textured element here, but it's kind of disappearing when you check the box. So definitely make sure if you have low hardware or if, if you're playing on a laptop or anything like that, this can make a difference, but not so much on high-end PCs or even PCs with decent graphic hardware and, and computational hardware. All right, last but not least, there's a setting that actually doesn't affect performance. I can close it here, uh, but it affects certain textures in the game. For example, look at this wooden floor here. This looks very messy because there's a lot of blurring going on and all the textures are kind of a bit strangely looking in my opinion. There's something that is on default on high that kind of gives you the effect of, hey, it looks better if you put this to high. But in my opinion, the parallax occlusion here does look better if you don't have it on high. So you can see the blurring effect. The anti-aliasing doesn't have so much problems with it. This It doesn't struggle so much. But there's a clear difference in visual effect. And I think it's up to you. You can decide if that looks better with it on high or in normal. And this is definitely one of the scenes where this is making a clear difference that you can definitely see. And in my opinion, the movement looks cleaner with it on normal. And maybe the still image looks a bit more detailed, but they're kind of faking details. As you can see, that's not really detailed here. They're just faking details in my opinion. So I'm, I'm personally not a big fan of parallax occlusion and turn this off entirely because sometimes it, it works. For example, I think this texture here does look better with it but I think I'm fine with that and have the overall cleanness in favor here so that's definitely something on top 
Okay, something I added on my five things that you should know for Final Fantasy XIV when you start Final Fantasy XIV, but it's actually ba a graphical setting or a tweak to the graphical setting, is inside of your display settings here. First of all, if you want to squeeze out the last quench of performance, always go to full screen mode. That will give you at least 5 to 10% performance on certain occasions and is definitely something you should do if you're not doing Windows stuff very often, if you're not switching between the desktop and the game very, very often. But something I have figured out quite lately, uh, actually <laughs> way too late, is that the default full screen gamma correction is on 50. This gives your whole image the problem that you want to use filters for the game because it kind of muddies everything. It, it sets everything on a very even bright level and you're losing the contrast a lot. And that's something, that's the default setting here. And I'm basically turning this down to at least 40. I think I, that's what I played. But you can also go lower than that and compensate that with filters or something else, another setting here, which is the character lighting. If you just push the character lighting up, this gives your character a brighter look overall and you don't have issues in seeing your character better. As you can see here, it kind of has a lighting effect or lighting source being put from your character that your character is kind of lit up very evenly. Even though there's no direct lighting source or the lighting sources that you have are just getting amplified here. It basically just makes your character a bit brighter. Okay, so that's it. Quite a long one. Sorry about that. I hope that all the details are clearer now. Definitely check out if you want to know more about every setting in detail. Check out Reddit. There are, there are many players that have talked about every setting here. Lighting quality, grass quality, which by the way should always be on high. Grass quality is something that doesn't consume too much performance but looks substantially uh, less attractive if you have this on low or anything like that. The same goes for shadows. That's it for the legal graphic settings of the game that you can adjust to get performance and still retain certain visual quality. So yeah, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and until next time, stay safe, stay healthy and keep loving Final Fantasy.